Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. You know, my girlfriend tells me that I'm too serious on my YouTube videos. That I need to show my funny side, which I mean, I naturally have. And I was thinking about it. I have like five subscribers, right? So when I make my videos and I'm looking at the camera, it's kind of hard to think like, oh, I'm going to be captivating so many thousands of people because I'm just, I'm not at that level yet. Like I'm not a light bright. I'm not a trail recon level yet. So I'm like, the one or two people that's going to view this video is probably going to view it for what it's intended for, the, the title, you know, and not really the content yet. So I'm not like, if I don't whore myself out on Facebook or on another social media platform, I'm going to get like three views. As a matter of fact, I've already been approached by one of the online places saying, hey, your video, this place is not for you to, to, to show off your YouTube channel and get followers. So I have to like pull back the reins a little bit on that one. So that's it so i'm not at the millions yet i'm like i'm like at one two five i'm at 90 some subscribers right now you know started from the bottom and we, we still at the bottom but we gonna we gonna get there all right so i digress that was some that was some humor by the way hopefully y'all laughed at that one but the big company i'm shouting out is discount tire they hooked me up tremendously i was not expecting this at all they hooked me up tremendously so i gotta shout them out so Again, this ain't this is not a sponsored video, nothing like that. But discount tire, if you're listening, I got 35s right now. You know, I need some 37s. Well, you know what they say, I always go two sizes bigger. So let me get them 40s on that Dana 30 axle. Yes, I drive a sport. We be able to handle it. We gonna be all right. Let me get them 40s. I'll upgrade the gears later on in life. You know what I'm saying? But let's get to it. All right, so my experience with discount tire. So a little bit of foreshadowing. Uh, went to the beach, uh, Corolla Beach, had a good time. The video for that should be coming up soon as well. Um, and I aired down to get on the beach because that was a requirement. Granted, I didn't have to, but I aired down anyway. And hit a few trails, if you want to even call it that. I guess you can call it. It ain't mudding, so I guess you can call it sanding or something. But yeah, I hit the trail that they had and aired back up as I was leaving. And the vehicle was good, you know, driving back the three hours, the two and a half hours, it was good. The light never came back on, but um, the weather shifted. It went from like 50 to like 20. So the following morning, I hopped back in the, hopped back in the Jeep and my uh, driver's side rear tire the the light came on so I was like alright probably called it because it got cold so I aired it back up and everything and like two days later same thing it got down to like because I usually keep it at around 35 psi and all for it it got down to like 22 so I was like man the weather keep going up and down maybe it's the weather so again I uh, aired it back up another time and two days later the same thing so I was like alright clearly I got a leak so I was coming up for a oil change through Jeep because this is a 2018 uh, JLU. And when you buy a new vehicle from Jeep, you get two free oil changes, as well as I think a tire rotation. I'm not sure about the tire rotation thing because the first time I went to Jeep and I was like, yo man, got in, new vehicle, spent $40,000 on it. Let me get that free oil change and that tire rotation. And he was like, we don't do the tire rotation. I was like, that's not what I heard. I heard y'all do the tire rotations. So after going back and forth for a little bit, I finally convinced them to do the tire rotation. Then I was like, rotate the fifth tire as well, the spare. That was a whole nother thing that he didn't want to do. But eventually they said they were going to do it. Said, we're going to come back to that later. So um, I was like, you know what? I'll just wait till I go to Jeep and get him to look at the tire and do the oil change and everything. And as the day got closer to me doing my oil change, I was like, you know what? I'm really not trying to deal with Jeep right now. Like the what I had to go through last time for them to do a tire rotation. You know what? I'm gonna I'm see what discount tire got to do. They just opened one up close to where I live, so I was gonna give them a shot. So I called them up. I was like, hey, I think I got a leak. How much is that gonna cost? And the dude was just like 
since if it's if it's a safe fix, it's gonna be no charge to you. And I was, I was like, really? I was, I was taken back by that. I was like, oh my, really? Let me know, discount tire. Let me know. So I'm so shocked that you know I'm like, you know what? I'm willing to give you some money for something. So I was like, you know what? I got this tire rotation coming up as well. How much is it gonna cost for y'all to rotate my tire? Let me pay you something, give you some kind of service, right? And he asked me, did you do business with us in the press? So I was like, yeah, about three years ago, I bought some tires from y'all, from a, from a previous vehicle. So he ran my number and everything. And I'm like, I know Discount Tire does that thing where free rotations for life on your tires if you buy it from them. So I'm like, okay, that's with those tires. They ain't gonna do it with these ones. And he comes back on the phone and he's like, you know what, you did business in the past with us. Rotation is also free. So here I am thinking I was gonna spend about 60, $70, I don't know, for all things, the patch and the rotation. And I'm getting it all done for free. I was completely shocked. So the customer service at Discount Tire, top notch. Even when I bought my five tires originally from them, they were, I remember it being really good. And the only reason why I didn't go to Discount Tire for the five Eurotracks I have on this is because I got a really good deal from Craigslist and uh, four wheel parts. But in the future, I'm telling you right now, if I gotta buy five new tires, the first place I'm probably gonna go to is Discount Tire because good service. And again, this is not a paid anything like that. I'm, I'm a lowly 99 subscriber channel, right? They don't got no reason to pay me for any type of promotion, but I'm telling you, Discount Tire is where it's at. Back to the Jeep thing, we're at the Jeep dealership. So when they did my rotation, my five tire rotation, I went back home, I looked at my spare tire, and I think I marked it in a way, or there's something about the spare tire that was unique that I looked at it, and it was missing something. It was missing something on the center cap or whatever. And I said to myself, this is a, they didn't change the spare tire. So, you know, Jeep sends out that um, survey after you finish with any service, and I gave them zero, 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 zero on everything. And lo and behold, like a couple hours later, Jeep calling me like, oh my God, why'd you give us the zeros? I'm like, why'd you think I gave you the zeros? Cause you didn't do your job correctly. If you didn't do the, the rotation, like you said you were gonna do, you probably didn't do the oil change. So I'm gonna give y'all zeros. And they quickly fixed it. In a couple of days, they got me in and out. They rotated my spare tire and all of that. So I'm just saying, when it comes to tire stuff, wheel stuff, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stick with discount tire. All right, so that's it. Just doing my shout out. Um, again, sorry for the shakiness. It's mounted to my my uh, windshield, which I'm surprised just mounting this thing to my windshield didn't crack it. You know how Jeep windshields are. But again, like, subscribe, share the video, do all that stuff, comment, tell me what you think. What's your experience with Jeep versus discount tire and all that stuff? Y'all take it easy.